Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another Morales tutorial video. My name is Vasily, I'm your Web3 instructor, and today we are going to check the Get Multiple NFTs endpoint for the Morales API. This endpoint returns an array of NFTs specified on the request. So basically, we can get the information of NFTs from different contracts all at once. At the end, we want to have something like this. I have these input fields on which I'm going to provide a contract address. So I want to get the token with the ID 12. The default chain is Ethereum. Let's click on add item. This is going to add that information to an array, which is going to be sent to the request. And also let's add another contract over here with a different token ID. Let's add that item as well. And if I click on get NFTs, as you can see here, I got the actual response of the information of those NFTs. And these two NFTs are from different contracts. This one here is from CryptoPunks and this one is for another unnamed collection. So if you want to learn how to accomplish this, keep watching because we are just getting started. Back to the API reference, down here, using the exact same information I just showed you, and clicking on try it, we got this response, which is going to have a lot of useful information we might need, such as the block number, the name, a normalized metadata, the image URL, and so on. And we can get this response using several different programming languages. For today's tutorial, we are using React.js on the front end and Django on the back end, which is based on Python. So I'm going to stay here on the Python tab and I'm going to copy the code Morales provide us. Here on my Django project, I have prepared an empty script called services.py, so I'm going to paste the code over here, and we have to provide some information. First of all, our API key. And if you don't have a Morales account yet, this is the part of the video for you to hit pause, go to morales.io, create your free account, and here in your admin panel on Web3 APIs, you're going to have the access to your free API key. So I'm going to copy mine, go back to the code, paste it over here. I'm going to change this normalized metadata to true because it's going to be useful for us later on the video. And as you can see here, this code already has some information as reference for the Ethereum chain. So the only thing we have to do here to run this is go back to our terminal. Please be sure you have Morales installed with pip install Morales. And now I can run that script. So Python services.py. And as you can see here, I got the actual response for these three different NFTs for the Ethereum chain. This response is okay, but it's just a terminal response. And we want to use this on a more productive way. And also, we will want to input the chain ourselves and also the tokens we want to get information from. So in order to transform this in something more useful to us, I'm going to change this code and transform it into a function which is going to get the chain and the tokens as parameters. And with the magic of addition, we have our function ready. Also remember that storing your API key into your code is a security risk, especially if you want to push this to a code repo like GitHub. So I'm going to transform my API key into an environment variable as well. And now we can store our API key on this .m file. And if you are planning to push this to a code repo, just don't forget to add this file to your git ignore. So now I'm ready to use this function on my Django project. So here on my project views, first of all, I'm going to import that function. So from dot services, import get multiple NFTs. And here in a new view called get NFTs, which is going to get the information from the front end through this request variable, I can set up these input variables I need here, the chain and the tokens manually. So let's do that. This endpoint is a post request. So I'm going to make a comprobation first. Your request dot method equal to post. Let's create a JSON data. JSON data is going to be equal to JSON.loads, the request.body. Don't forget to have important JSON in order for this to work. And as I need the chain and the tokens, I'm going to take that information from this JSON data. So chain is going to be equal to JSON data chain. 
and tokens exactly the same. These are the input parameters my function needs, so I'm ready to use it. Multiple NFTs going to be equal to get multiple NFTs, and I'm going to send over the chain and the tokens. And just to be cautious, we are not going to use positional arguments, but I'm going to specify each one of them instead. So chain equals to chain and tokens equals to tokens. Now, the only thing left for this view is to return this to the front end. So I'm going to create a new JSON NFTs to transform this in something JavaScript is able to understand. So I'm just going to return this return HTTP response of the JSON NFTs. That was it for this view. So now I can get this name, go to URLs and add it over here. Also, don't forget to have imported the views from your project. So, pat get NFTs, views .get NFTs, and as I'm using relative paths for this lesson, I'm going to give it a name, which is also going to be get NFTs. And this is it for the backend. For the front end, the first thing we need is to have a proxy added here, pointing to the IP of our Django server, as we are running this locally. The IP address is localhost in the port 8000, and also we need Axios to connect to the backend. If you don't have Axios, just use npm install Axios on your terminal. So these input fields, the contract address and the token ID are attached to this NFT values variable I have over here. Once we click on add item, this input information is going to be used here on this params variable, which is also going to take the information for the chain we want to use. By default, we are using Ethereum. And as you can see here, these two variables, chain and tokens, are the exact same ones we need to send to the backend in order to make our post request to the Morales API. Over here, I have this function called refresh NFT data, which is going to use Axios to connect to the backend. So let's do it. The method is going to be post. The URL is going to be slash get NFTs. And the data is going to come from the params variable I just showed you. So chain equals param dot chain and tokens equals param dot tokens. If everything goes well, for now, I just want to have a console.log of that response. And this refresh NFT data is already connected to this get NFTs button. So let's give this a try. Let's open the console here. So I'm going to add two different NFTs here for different contracts. And let's try this. So as you can see here, I got the actual response with the information of those two NFTs. And depending on our use case, we will need more or less of this information over here. So for today's tutorial, the only thing left is to take this JSON response we got over here and show it down here on our web page. On my code, instead of just using a console.log, I'm going to actually use this set NFT data function I have over here. This set NFT data function is going to update this NFT data with all the NFT informations. And down here, I have a new variable called rendered data, which is going to map through all the items on NFT data and create a new card out of them. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to have the image the token address, the owner of that NFT, the token ID, the block number, and the token URI. But as I said it before, you can just take the ones you think are the most important for your use case. So let's give this another try, get NFTs. And now, as you can see here, we have the exact same information I just showed you at the beginning of the video. And we can use here any other NFT contract for any other EVM compatible blockchain. And remember how easy this was. With just this small portion of code, we were able to take the information of any NFTs we wanted and all at the same time and with almost no effort. How cool is that? That was it for today's video. Don't forget all the code for this lesson is on the GitHub repo, so don't forget to check out the video description and also click here to learn more about Morales technology and see more videos. 
I'm serious. Click it. Do it now. Go ahead. See more videos. You did it? Nice. See you in the next occasion. Bye.